Valbo in sun, fresh fish. For the weekend, look at it. A beautiful red snapper. Mandibles. Wow. Beautiful. All in the water fish. So wow. Mira. Eh, quiero el pargo esto con locos más grande este. Este es bueno también, sí. Good. Another white tuna. Es más grande. A white tuna. Mm. Oh. Okay. Este es bonito, no es currel. Bonito. Okay. Es muy bonito o tuna. No, no, tuna. Okay. Entonces. ¿Cuánto hay aquí? Está delicioso. Pescado pues. ¿Qué capi que dice? Oh yes, guys. These are very, very fresh fish. Look at the eyes of these red snapper. Mmm. It is a tuna. Mmm. Very fresh too. One of our boxes for Valentinus. I don't know if you can see him there. <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday, September 10th. So we got him something that was on the boat, that was on the on the shipment. So Valentinus. Yes. Come here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy mate. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, my <laughs> friends. <laughs> Feeling you, not for good artists. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, we don't yeah. forget artists, we you don't are forget our friends. Too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I know, we know that it's very hard. It's very hard to find 60 here. waters. Yes. <laughs> Rip that shit open. Now we need to add a new album. Yeah. Album paper. Ba -ba -ba. Wow. Like music instruments, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like a music instrument, yeah. I think so for you it's like a. Yeah. Lots of in, in here. Yeah, you have all the, the different kind of color <laughs> of gradation. Yeah. yeah. You should have fun. Yeah. Happy, bir happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'm happy. <laughs> nice, nice. Cheers. Nice. Okay. So it has come to my attention that many of you seem to be under the impression that we are becoming full-blown shopaholics. Well, <laughs> not in the truest definition of the word. What we are doing, in fact, is taking advantage of a very unique situation that exists for us here in San Andres to bring in a lot of products, taking advantage of Amazon Prime in the States, shipping to Miami, and using a freighter that comes to San Andres every two weeks. Emphasis on the fact that San Andres is a fully duty-free port of Colombia, so we can bring in anything we want, fully tax-free, duty-free, everything. It's easy, and I think I've explained that to you guys before. But this time, see, we can't afford to do everything at once, so we have to do a little bit at a time. So we've been bringing in, you know, I think this is the third shipment since we've been in San Andres in the last six months, maybe seven months. This time... The focus was on replacing a lot of necessary gear on Sophisticated Lady for our extended travels into the Pacific. So what I'm going to do today is take you through and show you some of what we've been replacing and why. So stick around for that. If there is one important thing I'm going to tell you about life on a sailboat or cruising life and living this lifestyle, you know, having to maintain your own home and things like that, 
that emphasis is going to be completely on tools. Now, I've had a lot of tools on this boat for a lot of years, and this was our problem. Every time we go to fix something on the boat, the first thing we typically have to do is fix the tools <laughs> because they don't last forever. And well, I've got a lot of tools and they break. They get rusty, they seize up, you know. It's a constant aggravation and it's just something I just getting tired of dealing with. So what we have here is just a small sample of some of my tools that I'm gonna show you and you'll see why I need to replace them. Yeah, I mean, look inside my tool bag. You'll see there's a lot of old beat up tools in here that some of them still function and a lot of them don't. They get, <laughs> they get very rusted and seized up. And yeah, I can fix them and put them back in shape again and they'll last another six months and then I'll be fixing them again. But they just can't be fixed endlessly because the metal starts to wear out and the finish is gone. There's no corrosion protection left at all. So they rust very, very quickly. Yeah, this is... <laughs> That's not even old, but that's seized up hard as a rock. And you know, these were all just fixed within the last six to 12 months, so. Yeah. So all I can tell you is I'm getting tired of it. I've had these exact tools on board for 15 years since I bought Sophisticated Lady. They've done their job. There comes a time in a man's life when he needs to replace his tools. For me, that time is now. We have opportunity, we have place, and for the first time in a long time, we actually have a bit of spare cash that we are investing back into the boat, just getting ready for these long-term travels. And a big part of that is gonna be the tools, because when something breaks, you can't just let it sit, and you can't call somebody to fix it. You get your shit out, and you start to fix it yourself, period, that's it. So now I'm just gonna show you a summary of what we bought, and you'll quickly understand what we're doing. It's very horrible working with something like this. It's very <laughs> hard and hard. Yeah, tell me about it, yeah. And I think so in the Pacific Coast, all, all is very hard to find and it's very expensive to recycle. Well, see, this and is the thing that maybe you guys don't understand. When we are in Panama, it is much more difficult and much more expensive to receive packages, products, tools, parts, anything. Here is easy because we have a direct link to Miami with this ship that comes in every two weeks. That's a big advantage. You know, it can take at least a month, if not two months, to receive something in Panama and there's always a big heavy premium attached. Oh, yeah. We don't have that here. So that is why we're trying to take advantage of as much as possible before we leave here because we might be able to do one more shipment before we leave, we don't know. You know, we still have other issues we're dealing with, my passport and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, computer. Computer is a big one, and the only place we may be able to receive the computer easy is gonna be here again if we ship it through Miami, so. There's a lot of things we're looking into right now, and that's all next on our list. So before we decide if we're gonna bring another shipment down, we have a few variables to decide first. Uh, this is a company. <laughs> you get the idea. Anyway, let's go downstairs and show you what it is that we've been working on. Now I'm not gonna get into exact details about every single piece. I'm just gonna show you what we've got and a brief explanation for some of it, why we've got it, okay? But the emphasis is gonna be on the tools because that's what most of the boxes were that you just saw us loading in the dinghy from our last shipment. And it's all lined out right here. So you can see clearly, I actually got two different socket sets. This one is our 3 8 and quarter inch drive system with the full selection of bits. Over there, you can see that's our half inch system. So that's a heavy duty mechanic set there for half inch drives. Next to that, you can see we replaced our Dremel tool because I've got two of those, but they're both broken. So we brought in one to try. Adjustable wrench set for obvious reasons. This is going to be amazing. This is a full set of drill bits in metal, wood, plastic, everything that we could possibly need, including the basic hole saw sizes. Every single bit known to man is in this kit and we've got replicas of all the common sizes of drill bits so that when one of your 16th inch drill bits breaks, you've got another one to pick up right on there. Muy bueno. Believe me, I spend a lot of time looking for drill bits and when I do find them, they're either dull or broken. So having a full selection and collection of all different assortments for any type of material, 
going to be a big bonus on the boat. Over here you see I bought a new router because we have some projects going on on the boat that involve a lot of woodwork and edge work and I've always had to rent somebody's router or hire somebody else to do it. So we got a full set of bits to go with that as well and that means we're back in business for doing woodwork because we have a few projects that we've had to put on hold because I don't have anybody on this island with a, a router. So. We managed to get a really good deal on this one on Amazon. I think it was $89. I've taken it apart, had a look at it already. It is very well made, nice product, very happy with it. Now we can get back to our galley projects because you remember we had new wood counters being made for some of the areas there, but we couldn't get the finish done that we needed and we didn't have any varnish to make anything match. We had to wait because our cockpit varnish is wearing out also. You can't get good varnish down here. It's just not good for marine use. So. That was why we got the Seek and Sea Tall here as well. I had to pick up a couple cans of that and bring that down. So we got that in the package as well. Next on the tools, we picked up a full set of adjustable wrenches. So those will be nice to have. We've got a full set of professional screwdrivers with every of the large sizes that you can need right down to the smallest jeweler type screwdrivers as well. So very nice set right there and all in a protective case where everything locks in and keeps in its place. If one's missing, you know exactly what's supposed to be there and find it or put it back where it's supposed to be. Here you can see we bought some new spools of heavy duty wire and this is for all the electrical upgrades we're going to be doing with small components and including the new solar panel upgrades, things like that. These are all the MC4 connectors for hooking that wire together. These are fully waterproof sealed connectors, so that's great. And over here we got a full tool kit. This tool kit is specifically for working with that wire. So it's got the wire strippers in the exact sizes that you would normally find in those types of connectors. The wire cutters, the cable cutters of course, and heavy duty crimping terminal, like the, for crimping the lugs. So very nice set. Again, protective box, has its own home, stays locked up. Use for me. This is the galley screwdriver set. So when we need something fast, just to fix something quick or undo or tighten something, you just grab it from the bottom drawer in our galley and there's always something right there. That way you don't have to go fishing up in my tool locker and digging out something, wondering where it is or anything like that. This guy's the big crimping tool for big battery lugs, okay? So when we're redoing our new battery upgrade for the 24 volt system, that's what this is for. We've already got all the connectors and everything in the last shipment. This is a thing of beauty. I use these relays a lot. They're 12 volt relays for options on the engine, stuff like that, but these ones I've just found are completely sealed and waterproof. Look at that, a three rung waterproof gasket, fully sealed inside, and the harness, $5 each. I can't beat that. These will last virtually forever because the other ones are all open at the bottom and not, you know they get corroded and they die. These ones are fully sealed. They got a gel in the bottom, so everything is fully waterproof. A box of five for $25. You can't beat that. You can also see we got our new mechanics wrench sets. We got all sizes, small through large in metric and imperial. This is a very important tool on the boat and this is something I use all the time and this is my clamp meter and it'll measure DC current as well as AC current, AC voltage, DC voltage, everything right there. I have one of these, I've had it for 10 years, but of course it's been used every single week. The display burned out on it which makes it pretty much useless. Found this one on Amazon, it was a very good deal. Comes with the case, comes with the basic wires, picked up some extra wires, all adapter kits and everything like that for anything else I'm going to be testing and all wraps up into a protective case. Very nice package and something every mariner needs to have because at some point you're going to have to test something. This is what you're going to be testing it with. New Allen key set, self-explanatory. Old one's broken. See all of our old tools, it's not even the tools sometimes, it's the cases break. They don't have very good cases, they're plastic. So a lot of the cases you see I've gone here now, I studied the pictures on Amazon before I bought them to make sure they had solid metal pins, not just the plastic flexing hinges because those break and when they break, you got a big problem with trying to keep your tools stored in one place neatly. So anyway, this one don't have much option with that. So I just replaced the whole kit because I was missing a lot of the old Allen keys in the first place. And these ones are color coded at least. So we got metric and imperial and comes with an Allen key handle, all that stuff. So one of those, this is very important stuff. We were starting to run low in my onboard hardware store. So we picked up all kinds of fasteners of all different sizes, threads. You know, we got bins of this stuff, metric, imperial, 
We got wood screws, fasteners. We got pan head, flush mount, everything we need, all different sizes right there. I think many of you understand the necessity of stuff like this on board as well. Electrical connectors. You need all kinds of electrical connectors and fasteners. We got every different size and every different color range. All connectors are heat shrink like this. So when you use your butt connectors, put wires together, anything like that, then you use your torch afterwards, melt down the heat shrink, and you've got a waterproof connection. Some of the other things are just little projects. I think you guys will remember. We had to, when we hooked up the generator at the back and we went to plug in our AC cord to the boat and the connector was melted out in the back. So we just removed it completely and just spliced the wire. So obviously had to replace that connector. That's what this guy is. Another thing that many of you may or may not think of is the importance of your floorboards and keeping stuff stowed below the boards. When I first bought this boat 15 years ago, all of these big boards were loose. And if we got, you know, heaven forbid, rolled, in a big wave or storm or anything like that, everything that's in your floor is on the ceiling. Everything that's under the floor is on your ceiling. So very important to try and keep as much stuff locked down as possible. I mean, nobody wants to be upside down, trust me. I don't want to be upside down, but the fact is it does happen. Some boats, I've had friends, they've been, you know, knocked down. If you look down here, you'll see this is what I've done with our boards. See, these all used to be just big, loose panels just sitting here. Well, I put hinges over here so they've got a hinge point. We put pneumatic cylinders underneath so they can pivot up, but then you still want them to lock down. And that's what these were for. But of course now the handles were all broken off. Well, they lasted 15 years and we use them almost daily. But now it's time to replace. And I couldn't find exactly the same thing, but I found something actually much even stronger. And that's these guys. So we bought three of these to replace all the ones that are on the floorboards now. They've got a key lock even. We're probably not going to use that much because I don't think you want to have your, your bilge really locked up. but. They've got a retractable handle. This piece here is what locks the whole panel down when it's engaged like that. Right now it's locked, so obviously I can't move it, but then you would unlock this and then you can turn this, open your panel. Very nice, comes with its own waterproof gasket and everything. I think these were about $25 each in full stainless steel. Very heavy duty. These are gonna last much longer than what's on the floor now and they lasted 15 years, so I think we're good. As you also know, we're doing a lot of electrical upgrades in the kitchen. We've got a lot of new electrical appliances, but we only have one outlet. So of course that's a problem. Now the new Victron inverter that we're installing has two AC outputs. So we can take one that is running the ship system right now, all the standard outlets. We're gonna take the other one to isolate it just for the galley and run it over and install two more of these GFCI outlets. So these have their own protection built in as well and will give us places to plug in the ice maker, the, the electric stoves, all of that stuff. So these are on the project lift also. One of the other electrical projects we're working on is what these components are for. And this is all for our solar dump into the hot water heater. So this is going to be solar powered hot water. We've got a 24 volt, 600 watt element. Okay, for that we need a breaker. So I've got a 40 amp breaker for 24 volt. And this is what's gonna be hooked up to the Victron solar regulator so that when the batteries reach absorption stage and they go into float mode, it will turn on this relay and start dumping all the excess power from the solar panels into the hot water tank. So that's gonna be a nice feature on those days when we have so much power and nothing else to do with it. We're not making ice or water or anything like that is already done. It'll just heat the water tank and we'll have not hot water, but warm because you know, I don't need hot water, trust me, but I don't like cold water. <laughs> so having a shower in warm water is very nice. Something else we just received very nice from Battleborn Batteries. They've got some new Victron gear and they sent it to us. They want us to have a look, test it and hook it up and everything. And it's going to be to replace our GX color controller that's the brain of the system over there right now. This is gonna be nice. It's gonna do the same thing, but has many more optional hookups. So you can hook up a lot more sensors to this system. Plus it has the advantage that the Serbo GX can be remounted in a remote location. All the wires run to this, and then one wire now runs to the controller. And this is a touchscreen controller with one wire. So that will mount where the GX color controller is now. 
only one wire going through the panel, which is a big advantage because if you remember when I installed that, all the wires off the GX color controller hang out the back. And that's not a big deal if it's just in, you know, a cabinet that you don't use every day, but we use this cabinet every day, so wires are constantly getting banged and knocked off of it. This is going to be a big improvement for us, so I'm really looking forward to trying this and testing it. And it's all touchscreen. So that's going to be very nice. Thank you so much, Battleborn Batteries. I really appreciate you guys, and I love dealing with all the stuff that you like to send us and have us test. So, reports coming soon. 3M5200, self-explanatory. We use this on a lot of stuff around the boat, and I've got a couple projects coming up. I needed some extra, so I bought a couple of tubes of that. Some of those projects are going to involve some polishing, and I've always needed one of these. I used to have one years ago, and it's very handy to have. We need to do a lot of, this is, you know, cosmetics on the boat is nice. This will do the fiberglass on the boat, but I'm also going to be working with some metals that need polishing, and that's why we got this. We had a bunch of pieces we were trying to get polished on the island. They just don't have this kind of... A, capabilities. I don't know. Nobody seems to worry about that kind of stuff here because they don't deal with many boats. On a boat, especially when it comes to metal, it needs to have a high level of polish. Otherwise, it's going to have a porous surface and as soon as salt water contacts it, it'll rust. Even the best stainless steel is still going to rust. So that's why we got that so we can touch up some of our metals and also do some other projects around the boat with it as well. Be very handy. Not expensive. I think it was like $70 and you know, we'll get a lot of good use out of this and a lot of projects that I otherwise would have had to hire somebody else to do. Now we can do it ourselves. One other thing we needed for the boat was something for the galley again. Oh, see, I got a new tool bag as well, so that's going to replace the old one you saw up there, finally. The old one, <laughs> it's pretty beat, so nice to have a new one of those come in. But for the galley, our faucet has been just falling apart for a long time. The last time I bought one, I think, was about three years ago. Didn't last all that well. It seized up solid, so it's a bit of a problem for Maddie. So we found one of these that should do the job very nicely. And it's more of a restaurant style, kind of like what she'd be used to dealing with. And I think Maddie's very excited for that. So mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the next thing to be installed in the galley. Put that back over here. And even down to pest control, because yes, there are pests. The problem we have here in San Andres, cockroaches fly. Yes, they fly. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere else, but we're just sitting here watching movies and you'll just see them dive bomb straight in the windows and it's like oh shit and if you don't see them and it get into the floor you got cockroaches so we're waiting until we're almost ready to leave but yeah we picked up a bunch of these for maintenance because we do not want cockroaches on the boat trust me so we are gonna fog the shit out of the boat and get rid of them you guys are always asking me what we do about internet internet's a big thing of course it's a big part of our lives well I used to run external antennas and deal with Wi-Fi signals on shore and sometimes we have to if that's our only option, but those connections are usually very poor and not able to upload or download videos or anything like that, so we still have to go to shore and pay to use restaurants Wi-Fi or something like that. I'm going to do a full episode on just that to explain what we do now, but we did just receive this from Wilson Electronics. It's the new WeBoost Drive Reach. And this is a system was recommended to us by our friends on Project Atticus and also Gone with the Winds. So I got in touch with Wilson Electronics, talked to them about what we wanted to do here. They had some brand new systems, brand new antennas for marine use. They packaged it all up for us, put a whole package together with low loss cabling as well. So we'll be installing that soon and taking you along for that so you can see exactly what it is, how it works, why we've got it, and what it does. Another problem we've always had is hatches. The hatches on the boat are phenomenal hatches, but after so many years the gaskets leak and I have replaced the gaskets. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good because it's very difficult to find the exact size of gasket. This is silicone 
So it's not foam, it's not closed cell foam, it's actually silicone. It's the exact dimensions we needed for our ports because they were all leaking badly. We've already tested it, tried it on two. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, we are very yeah. happy. We don't have rain showers coming in the boat. We've been trying to find for a long time. This time we hit the jackpot. I think you guys will remember episodes when we've been rebuilding shower pumps and stuff like that when Maddie had hers break and she went in to try and fix it. Mm -hmm. Well, I've found these online now and we're gonna give it a try because this is an automatic shower sump and if this works, we're gonna mount it in the floor right between the two showers of forward and plumb each drain into this tank. It has an automatic bilge switch and a bilge pump. So as the water level in here rises, it will discharge the water back out to the same port where the existing shower pump discharges now. But if this works, it will replace two of those old pumps that cost $80 each just to rebuild. Not replace, rebuild. To replace them is about $250 each. These, I think, were about $80. So, gonna test it, see how it works. If it's good, we'll let you know, because this is gonna be very convenient. It'll be fully automatic. The showers will just drain automatically into here. This will automatically pump the water out. Very nice. Another plumbing item that we had to deal with was our transom shower. We use that a lot because every time you get out of the water, you turn it on to take a shower just to rinse off the salt. But ours has a leak in the main hookup and <laughs> every time we turn it on, it starts pissing water all the way down the back of the boat and down into the bilge. And if somebody, which they do, forgets to turn it off, we lose a lot of water. So it's become very important to replace that. Couldn't find the exact size because of course that one's 20 years old. But we found this one that is very nice, should do a beautiful job. And we'll install that back there. It's just a little bit smaller than the other one, so we'll have to build a wooden template behind it just to fill in the void and then bolt this into the wood. But we'll have this coming up soon as well because that's going to be a priority because we're very tired of losing water. Now, this box, this is something I wanted to experiment with more for you guys, but this is an onboard weather station. This particular weather station is made by Ambient Weather. I found it on Amazon. It's a bit expensive, almost $300, but basically we are going to become an Ambient Weather weather station on Sophisticated Lady. So when we have internet access, this is going to relay all the information about the weather around the boat on an ongoing basis to their website. I'm going to set up a page on our website to repeat the information. You guys will be able to log into a page on our website and find the current weather around the boat as it is now in real time. You'll also be able to log in to find out what the power situation is on the boat. You'll see all the graphs of all our power that we've generated from solar, everything, and how much we use and relate that to the weather conditions around the boat. My plan also is to tie our security cameras in so that the four outdoor cameras will relay on the website and you'll be able to see within you know a few minutes a picture from all around the boat of what's going on around the boat. So you can see pictures around the boat, weather from around the boat, and the power that we're generating from the weather around the boat. And we'll also have our predict wind charts there as well so you'll be able to see the forecasted weather for where we are in addition to current location when we're traveling. I think it's going to be pretty cool but you guys can let me know because I'm trying to share the things with you that is in real life in real time about our environment and how it relates to our livelihood on board, our lifestyle on board basically, how our weather is, what kind of situations we're dealing with, what kind of power we're generating. Last but certainly not least, you guys all mentioned something from one of our previous videos when we got that new pressure pot. And we love the pressure pot, think it's really cool, but it is high maintenance. You gotta be very careful with it, and we learned that right away, as you remember. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. I am. Oh. No, 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 no,
I was amazed with how many of you came back in that episode and said, you need to try this. <laughs> I was like, what is that? But so many people mentioned it and put links in the video that, well, we did some research. I looked into it and found it on Amazon. And now we have an Instant Pot. So I picked up one of these because I'm more than interested to test it and see how it works. I think so help us uh, when we cross in the Pacific for a long sail, when the sea is very rafty, rafty, is correct? Rough. Rough. Yep. You show here I have a, like a little computer, a little screen of the computer. I have a lot of programs, soup, meat, cake, eggs, uh, make yogurt too, uh, I discover. You don't need to supervise every time the stove, the pot, then the food go out, the, the water boiling. Uh, eat, switch, you switch on and the pot switch off alone where the food is already. Ah, here, yeah, it's like a pressure pot too. For this we kill the time to cook, we don't use too much power when the weather don't help to us. This is the real pot with some measurement inside. So yeah, Maddie was quite excited to test the new pressure cooker. I think she's looking forward to trying this too. We'll see how it works. We'll let you know. So I think that's about it for the shipment right now. We gotta get back to work because Julian is supposed to be coming to pick up the dinghy. We've got that service going on this morning and that's next. All right, so I'll look after that. And yeah, you're gonna go to Castromundo, drop these guys at the beach. Okay. And then we'll bump into oh, Valentina's. Oh, and you buy Okay, Capitan, for everything I call you. Okay. See you in a couple hours. Okay, ciao. Thanks, Julian. All right. Off to the beach. They're gonna pull the dinghy up on the beach and do some service. Cool. And with them gone, I get back to work.